Welcome in, welcome in my ASVAB party people. Coach Anderson here, and what we're gonna be doing here is checking out a proportion problem that I'm hoping, if you've gotten enough practice, you can get this done in less than 10 seconds. No real, like for real, seriously, not even joking. This is something that you should be able to do fairly quickly once you notice what needs to be done. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get started, let's have fun. First things first, what do we do? Read the question. If you've seen any of my videos before, you know that's how I always start word problems. Start with what you're going for. So right here, we're seeing that it says, hey, how many total items are there if eight yellow items are in the bag? Okay, so you can get stuck or confused very quickly here if you are learning and you're excited about these patterns that you notice. But if you recognize patterns, it's also really important to understand why those patterns work. Because there are a lot of people that might believe that they think that, hey, we have one yellow and then eight yellow. So that means it's a times eight relationship. And so then some people might believe that if we're trying to go from seven green to however many green, that that's gonna be another times eight relationship, which would give us 56 green. Now, here's the thing, that's correct. That's absolutely right. But what people almost always, always, always forget to do is check the question. Are you actually looking for the number of green? Actually not. Take a look here. How many total items? So you really need to be careful. Yeah, we can get excited about the mental math that we know, we always do, but we have to be careful about reading the question because if you're looking for the total in items, you need to add everything up. And before you continue, just remember, you can get a free week to our full program, no credit card required. All you gotta do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182. Do that real quick, get a free week, join all the classes, and raise your score. So if we have eight yellow items and 56 green, we add those up and we will get 64 total because this will be eight yellow from right here. That'll be 56 green that we found with that accidental calculation, and we have a total of 64. So boom, that would be the answer there, A. But here's the other way to set it up. So don't leave yet. I wanna show you the other way to get this done. It's with a proportion that sets it up properly, so you don't have to remember to go ahead and add it back at the end. So here we go. Let me just erase this, and I'll give you some nice tips here. So right over here, blah, blah, blah. So we have, again, one yellow for every seven green. So one yellow for every seven green. And then here in the question, it says we're looking for how many total. So we see here we have, a, we can say blank total for eight yellow. So if you notice, this is kind of messed up. We have yellow, green, total yellow. What? That's not compared the same way. So that's what you have to pay attention to. Once you pay attention to that, you notice that you're looking for blank total with eight yellow. So what I need to do is I need to set this one up up here with total and yellow being compared. As long as you compare the same things in the same way, you're fine. So here we go. I'm gonna take this right over here, move it over, so that way I can line up my yellows, and then I'm gonna line up my total. If I have seven green and one yellow, that's gonna be eight total. Boom. It's really that straightforward. Do I need the green down here? No, absolutely don't need it. I just need to go ahead and compare the same things in the same way. I got these two proportions, or these two ratios. I'm good to go now. Once you have it, you're done. We have eight over one equals total, so T over eight. With that said, cross multiply, and we get T equals 64, done. And so it really is, my party people, it really is that straightforward. So before you leave this video, just wanted to thank you for watching because I'm Coach Anderson and you've been one of my students, hopefully for more than one video by now. And if you've liked these videos, make sure to like this video and comment to make sure that I'm aware of your favorite part of it and how I can improve. And on top of that, don't forget to sign up for my free practice test with video solutions. And it comes with a free registration for my free weekly Zoom classes, typically on Monday nights. So take advantage of it, have fun with it. Let's keep raising our scores. And if you have any questions at all, on you know raising your score with the ASVAB or anything else, just shoot me a text. Don't forget to reach out to me, comment on this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, 
That's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.